Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video we're going to talk about quarter window scrapers on your convertible beetle. And as you can see here, we have removed the old scrapers and we need to remove the window. The window comes out from the top, so you need to unbolt it from here and here. Alright, that's the only way to really do this job effectively. And you're going to want to remove it from the, the window crank mechanism, the winder the up and downer and it just slides out from the lift channel there and the window comes out from the top convertible beetles windows come out from the top not the bottom and as you can see here we have my brand new outside scraper and here's the crappy inside scraper you can get these scrapers from anywhere really Wolfsburg West, CIP1.com, JBugs and as you can see they have pre-drilled holes there's two holes two on the end that hold the scraper in there's no clips that hold this in place there's two two uh, sheet metal screws that you could uh, probably save when you take out the old scraper. We're going to come over here, we're going to test fit it first. And when I put it in here, as you can see, I'll just line it up, okay, and the two screws would go here on the end and on this part here. But before we do that, you'll notice that there's a rivet that's stopping the outside scraper from wedging in between the track where the window goes through and the body. That rivet has to, they ha that scraper has to be down in there, okay, between the, this track and the body comfortably. So, of course, we had to grind the rivet down, but don't grind it down, grind it down to the point where the, uh, the scraper comes apart, just enough so you can wedge it in between there. So, here's the inside scraper. We're going to do this job first. So the inside scraper, as you can see, has a lip on the bottom that hooks right here, where I'm pointing. So you're going to want to wedge the rubber down and hook it underneath there, just like this. Get a little WD-40, and you can start moving this all into place, massaging it in, and you need to do this with the window out, and you need to do this before you put the outside scraper in. It just makes the job a lot easier. So we moved it up into place, and then as you'll notice, you pull it up, and there's another lip that inserts into this groove. Get some more WD, clean out that groove, and start inserting and pressing into this, this section here. And you're going to have to trim the rubber towards the end because they come in a little long in the package. And that white flaky stuff that's on the rubber, you can get rid of that with WD-40. But um, that's how this inside scraper looks. Okay, all by hand, and you want the glass out of the way to do this. And that's how it should look. So if you don't hook it from the bottom, it's just going to come up and down when the window goes up and down. So here's the outside scraper. Okay, we're going to want to wedge it where I showed you before. See, it just clipped right in now. Now, that rivet is not hindering us. Set it up into place. And get two sheet metal screws to screw it in place. Nothing in the middle. Only two screws. The front uh, doors get three screws. The rear quarter panel gets only these two screws. Now, we just took out these sheet metal screws that they had in there last time, the hex-headed screws, but you can use Phillips-headed, you know, half-inch, quarter-inch uh, sheet metal screws, like sixes or eights. And that is it, guys. Your two scrapers are in. Front wind, uh, front doors, uh, you can possibly get this done with the window in. You just drop the window down a bit, but here's how you get these rear scrapers in. <laughs>